Welcome back. Uh, it's another day, another dollar. You know how it is. So yesterday you saw where the truck damage was um, and how it was kind of banged up and all that. We got the estimate back. It was $2,000 worth of damage supposedly and they couldn't get the door open. For whatever reason, my door just would not open. I got a hold of my neighbor and they actually still want to pay like out of pocket. So I'm like, man, I could probably fix that thing for cheaper and maybe save them some money and then like I could get it fixed and I could possibly even get like a paint job out of the deal. Like instead of, cause they want to charge $2,000 whereas I can go get a used door for a couple hundred bucks probably, fix whatever might be broken inside the door, you know, um, and then do my own paint job. I could probably get it all done for probably $1,000, maybe a little bit less if I really like go cheap on it. You know, because the truck wasn't perfect when they smashed it. It wasn't a perfect truck. I mean, you guys have seen it. So, you know, I don't want them to get, you know, totally boned on the deal. And if I can help them out, you know, that would be good too. You know, because it helps me because then, hey, I get the paint job I've been wanting. And I can do it for cheaper than what they're going to charge just to do the door and paint the door. You know, so it's kind of like I'd be helping two people out. But I don't know if they'll go for that. They might think that I'm trying to rip them off or something. But... I'm not, I'm like trying to be helpful here. But yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Okay guys, so I made it back to the house, uh, back from school. So I found something on uh, Facebook. It's like the Facebook Marketplace. Um, fortunately, there's a place in town where they have a bunch of used um, like trucks and truck parts that are messed up and whatnot. So I think that I'm gonna be able to actually fix my truck for cheaper than what it would cost if I was to take it to the collision shop. Cause they charge like $2,000 and I'm not trying to like rip nobody off. I don't want my neighbors to have to pay like a crap load out of pocket cause they don't want to go through the insurance. So I'm trying to help them out while helping me out. So I think that I'll be able to fix the door and do a paint job for less than what it would cost to go to the, the collision shop. They want $2,000. I know for a fact that I can fix it for cheaper than $2,000. But I can't do that till tomorrow because the guy's not available till tomorrow to pick it up. I, I contacted my neighbor and I told him the idea and I'm waiting to see what he says, what he wants to do. It just depends. Um, hopefully they'll be okay with it and they'll be cool with it and know that I'm like a reputable person. But I could see where they probably wouldn't want to also. But if I could save them like $1,000. I think that they might do it, so we'll see. As far as the truck bed goes, I wasn't able to finish it up yesterday because the other neighbors, I don't know who, called the cops on me instead of coming out and being like, hey, could you keep it down? It's dinner time, whatever. So what I'm gonna do is, tomorrow I've got a friend coming over that's got a big trailer, and we're gonna load it up in the trailer and take it down to the scrapyard found a place that they're gonna take the whole truck bed. So we're gonna do that uh, tomorrow as well. So, oh, hey kitty, what's up? My cat came up to say hello. What's up, Mr. Kitty, you wanna say hi to everybody? You wanna say hi to all the people? My cat's super friendly. So probably, what I'll probably do is just continue this tomorrow, uh, the same vlog, and we'll just go from there. Oh wow, he's got a magnet he's gonna hoist it up with. Yeah, plus his trailer. <laughs> oh, he probably doesn't turn the magnet on yet. Here we go. Driving back from the south side, uh, managed to pick up a door. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, yeah, got the door and it was about, uh, <laughs> I got a hell of a deal. That door has everything. It's got the panels, it's got the handles, it's got everything. It's got window motors, everything. 
I paid a hundred dollars. So <laughs> thank you, Southside. You guys are uh, always a good deal for me. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm taking this thing all the way back home. I just got off of school not too long ago. And then we're gonna swap that door and hopefully that'll fix the problem with where we got hit from the neighbors. So this is gonna be a win-win for us. Hopefully we can get the other door off without too many issues. Uh, we'll see when we get home. So that's kind of our next goal. So let's get home and get started on that. Hopefully we don't run out of daylight. That's San Antonio freaking traffic, man. Holy crap. This is gonna take me forever to get home. Ugh, lordy lord. Okay guys, so I finally got uh, back. It's the next day if you can't tell. Um, but we got this door and I've been messing with it, trying to get it to work. And I finally got it open. So this latch right here was like jammed shut and I couldn't get it out. Um, I managed to get this loose from inside the truck. So what I had to do was I had to undo this and I tried to see if my door handle was working and it wasn't, it wasn't moving the latch at all, like nothing was happening. The door lock was not working because it's all messed up inside there. So I popped this out, I undid the screw here, and then I managed to get it, I probably broke a few things, but I had to pop the panel up so I could get back here. And then I just tried to get in there and finagle with the actual latch. So I went in here, flicked around with that, nothing was working, so what did I do? <sighs> Literally, when it was shut, so it was, I'm not gonna shut it because I don't want it to lock. So when it was shut, it was stuck something, it was all the way on and I couldn't get it. This handle's not working, right? So what I did, I grabbed this and I literally just slammed into this as hard as I could and I just kept doing it over and over and over until eventually it broke loose. So, so yeah, so that's what we did with that. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this door off and then we're gonna put the new one on and see if that fixes our problem. What we're looking at is right in here. We got there are there's a bolt here, there's a bolt there, and there's a bolt right there. Those are what we got to take out, and then we're gonna follow through here and unclip the harness in here so that way we can just pull the door off. Okay, so this panel here is pretty easy, you literally just pop it off. It's got these two little clips here, it's not too bad, and then we got access to the harness. Inside here, you'll see that there are, there's a harness that comes through here, connects right here. I'm gonna undo this connection, pull that out, and then you follow the other wire, which goes up into this relay box here. And on here, it's this little orange one. So we'll pull that out too. Don't forget about this little clip right here as well. It's the one with these two little wires. I believe it's Now for the fun part. Whew, got it off. Okay, so now we get to check for any kind of other damages that might be here, but it looks like this is the only spot where it's scraping it. Everything else seems to be okay. I don't see any significant damage here. So I think we're okay with that. Everything else seems to be good. Doesn't look like it's crushed in anywhere. It all looks pretty good. Okay, now we just gotta get the uh, replacement door. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is put this door in these hinges. I ain't doing that crap no more. We're bringing out the big guns today. Oh, fuck yes. Fuck yes, dude. 
got it. All right, so that was a hassle and a half. So we got this hinge on there, sits on there pretty good. Uh, this one lined up. We just gotta bolt that in and then bolt this in. Here's the only thing I noticed is this particular door had this weird connector. Um, so I'm gonna have to see, but these are the same color wires that were the green and purple one, which I think are for the speaker. And I think these wires here are for uh, power uh, mirror, which I don't have. So, yeah, well, I'm gonna have to look at a wiring diagram and figure that out. But uh, otherwise, the door's on there. Um, hanging on its own. The only problem is down here when I dropped it, I bent this. So we need to make sure that still fits. So I might have to hammer that out, which that sucks, but what are you gonna do? Okay, let's reinstall this puppy on there. Do these three bolts and then we'll move on. Let's verify these all work. Everything seems to be okay. This will just push through here for right now. Uh, fix these up. So we'll pull that wire through. We'll pull all these wires through. We just want to check and make sure the door closes. That's all we're doing right now. Check and see if the door closes, eh? See if it closes. Sags a little. All right, so we just got done putting the door on. Test and see if these things work. The motor's a little weak, so we might swap those. Seems good. All we gotta do is there's three bolts here. Let's undo these. And we're gonna transfer this to the new uh, to the new window. Got it. Okay, so the last thing I gotta do, I'm just gonna pop this panel back on. Boom. Before I put this panel on, I need to figure out what that wire is, but I don't have time, I ran out of time. So for right now, I'm just gonna set this aside. If you're doing this, just uh, basically, once I figure out what to do with the wires, we'll do that. Um, but it should just match them up and they should be good. I think this door had an option that I didn't. That's a door. One little detail I didn't think about is uh, my key doesn't work on this door. So I'm gonna have to swap out my door handle from the other one onto this. So later we're gonna tear that door panel apart, swap all the parts. But for today, I have a feeling this is all we're gonna get done. <laughs> 